Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. We're pouring our hot sugar today and it's already flavored with strawberries and cream flavoring. Today we're going to do something a little unusual. We're going to make spiral lollipops, but instead of making them in the traditional round shape, we're going to make them in a heart shape. We add the color and then we stir it carefully to boil all the water out of it. We don't want any water left because this will make the candy sticky. While it may look like we're adding more sugar here, we're not. We're adding citric acid. Most fruits have an acidic content to them, and our flavoring doesn't, so we need to add it back in. The citric acid may only be added after a certain point, or the candy will be too hot and the acid will burn, leaving a lousy taste in the taster's mouth. The candy that was against the table and the bars has now cooled down a lot, but the bits in the center are still scalding hot. And we have to mix the candy together to make it get to an even temperature so we can work with it. As the candy changes states, it goes from liquid to semi-solid to more solid, and eventually it gets solid enough that we can put it over a hook and fold it again and again until it becomes white. The sugar starts as a deep amber, but as we fold it over and over, we trap millions of air bubbles, and it makes the candy become a brilliant white, each one of those little air bubbles acting as a mirror to reflect the light. It's time to assemble the candy, and we're going to move the candy to a temperature-controlled surface that will slow down the cooling of the candy to give us time to do our assembly. We're making red and white stripes. The white stripes are there to reflect the light through the red stripes to make it look more jewel-like. If you want to order our candy, you can try it for yourself and get it at our website, www.pd.net. Now that we have a big log of candy, we need to get it down to the size of a rope so we can spiral our lollipops. We do this by pinching off one end, pulling out a log slowly, and then pulling out rod by rod until they all are ripe to turn into lollipops.
We twist the rope, making the pattern go around it, and then we take the rope and we make it into a spiral. A heart-shaped lollipop starts as a traditional circular lollipop. Then the lollipop gets passed on to the second candy maker. The second candy maker takes the candy and puts it into a steel form where they press it into the shape of the heart. They then take a wooden stick and insert it into the candy making it into a lollipop. If you ever make it to Tallahassee, you can see us make our candies live here at Lofty Pursuits. You can also go to our website, www.pd.net, and get our candies online. If you like this video, please subscribe to us here on YouTube or like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.